Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a little clothing haul and I have not done a clothing haul in a very, very long time. You guys know I don't I don't shop that often. Um, and if I do, it's pretty sporadically, like it's pretty random, it's never for a specific reason. I just, I don't shop super often because I have a lot of clothes having a clothing boutique for so many years but because now we are transitioning out of boutique and we are turning more into brand which that's a whole topic in itself um we're not bringing all the pieces that we used to now we are just designing individual pieces so i'm not going to be filling up my wardrobe and my closet with all the pieces that i used to for the last like four years so i have been I've made it very like I've been very intentional with the way that I shop lately um, I've talked to you guys before about like my my wardrobe and what I've been wanting to do with it And I'm really 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 taking my time and getting pieces that I know I absolutely love I'm trying to hone in on what makes me feel the best and what makes me feel the most confident and What I know I'm actually gonna wear like I'm not somebody ever that wears something one time and then never again. I don't believe in that. I think that's such a waste of money and like even my wedding dress, I'm going to repurpose so that I can wear it like again. Like I just don't believe in spending money on something that you're only going to use one time. I, I, I genuinely don't. I Everything that's in my wardrobe, I've worn many, many times depending on the season and that's just how I like to use my clothes. Whether it's something that I spent five bucks on or a hundred bucks on, I want to be able to wear it as many times as possible before I have to get rid of it. So I've, in the past, in like the last month, I have done massive closet purging. If you watch my vlogs, you know, like I have gotten rid of over half of my closet and I have only kept the things that make me super happy, that I get excited about wearing, that... I know I'll wear over and over and over again and so while I went through that purging phase I also went through a okay now that I've gotten rid of everything that I've either worn to shreds which is a lot of my stuff I wear a lot of my stuff until it's like falling apart or just something that I'm like I don't love this this doesn't make me feel good which I've come to terms with my personal style that dresses um, jumpsuits for the most part that's not what makes me feel my best my best is a bottom and a top like jeans and a top or denim shorts and a top or trousers and a top have slightly like I'm, I'm very feminine like i'm a very feminine person i love doing my hair i love doing my makeup my nails perfume i love all that but i noticed that my personal style and what makes me feel the best is feminine pieces that are slightly masculine so where i like wearing like you know i'm wearing a fitted bodysuit right now um i never wear like two things that are super tight because i just noticed that's just not what makes me feel my best i either like a loose slouchy shirt with fitted jeans or i like looser jeans with a fitted top i like oversized you guys know if you follow me or if you've been following me for a while oversized clothing whether it's outerwear blazers shirts button-ups anything oversized i love oversized for my personal style i know a lot of people aren't into that but i personally i love an oversized exaggerated like top piece i love denim you guys this is also something you guys know if you've been keeping up with me for a long time love denim love just slouchy oversized pieces and i absolutely love body suits that's one thing that is like top of my list i went through my closet and i saw that probably 50 percent of my tops were body suits so i was like okay clearly i love the body suit and that's something that i'm going to invest in so i don't have too many pieces i think it's how many tops is it one two three tops i have a blazer and i have three bottoms so um like i said because i'm doing this a different route i am not buying things like how do you say this in english a lo loco like i'm not just like going like crazy i went on each of these websites and these are websites that i already knew i loved and 
one of them I had like a coupon code so I was like oh let me check it out and when I went on the website I didn't go crazy buying everything just because I had a coupon code I literally took my time I went through and I was like okay which maybe one or two of these am I gonna really really get my wear out of for right now not saying that I don't own a ton of different styles because I do but I'm not making purchases that are like I'm gonna buy the whole website Maybe one or two that I like. Maybe if I see something in multiple colors and I'm like, oh, I would love that. I'll get maybe two of the colors. Get a different style. So that's what you're going to kind of see here. Um, this is from three different websites. And I will leave everything linked down below for you guys. And I'm also going to include try-ons in this. Because it's not a lot of pieces, I can actually take the time and like try them on. Some of these I've never tried on. So you guys are going to kind of get the first... What's the word? The first reaction. Um right on camera because some of these like i said i haven't tried on so i'm gonna do a full walkthrough of each piece talk about it a little bit why i like it why i bought it and then we'll do try-ons of each individual piece so um oh i was gonna say something else oh for anything that i'm wearing this henley bodysuit is old from my store we don't have it anymore i'm sorry but like i said i wear my clothes to death i don't care if it's something old it's just a chocolate colored um henley my necklace is from a small uh, jewelry boutique called Talk Jewelry. I'll leave it down below if they still have it. My earrings, these hoops are Amazon. I always get questions about these as well. These are also Amazon. I'll link down below. Um, I think that's probably, that's probably it. So first thing I'm gonna talk about is a set that I bought and I bought this individually. So this brand, because of Alice, I randomly got ad, like I started getting a ton of ads on my, um, my instagram and i would not doubt it if you guys have also received these ads first of all the ads are beautiful it's just like it's talking about their new products like they just pop up whatever it's called because of alice their logo is a is boa which i love that i love how simple it is i love how clean it is and it was started by a uk influencer who i actually never followed up until i saw the brand i saw the brand and i was like wow this is these are such beautiful pieces and i think her her, actually, it says it right here on the tag. The art of simplicity is her catchphrase. I, I don't know if I ever posted a picture, but when Tyler and I got married in the courthouse, I bought a blazer dress for that wedding, like the courthouse wedding, and that blazer dress was from Because of Alice. I also have a coat that Tyler got me for Christmas last year that I really wanted, which is also Because of Alice. The quality is impeccable. It's so beautiful. I genuinely don't know how she keeps the pieces more on the affordable side and not to say that you're gonna get a shirt for twenty dollars maybe if there's a sale going on um but her pieces for the quality of how good they are it is i, I genuinely don't understand i'm like how like who is she connected to that she's able to keep her costs so low because i know how much it takes to make clothes like i know so anyways i had gone on her website because she was doing like a site-wide sale for just like the middle of the year so i was like let me check it out let me see if there's anything there that i absolutely love again i wasn't going on there going on like a shopping spree i was just like let me see if there's anything from the clear out that i did in my closet that i know i really really want and one of the things that i said i wanted more of were trousers so i saw these trousers right here and i think these are the shade espresso and it's so funny because from our new pieces that we're about to launch for my brand our brown is called espresso and look at how similar the colors this is ours and this is hers it's almost the exact same color which is crazy i didn't know like i didn't know they were that close um and i actually fun fact i thought i ordered the green one it comes in this color and i think like a a really pretty dark like mossy green it was stunning could have sworn i ordered that one i guess i didn't i don't remember these are the trousers and you can see the tag here it's just a simple boa i got them in a size medium which is normally my true size and like a trouser style bottom and with something like this i don't like my trousers to fit me super tight like i said i like more of like a masculine feel so i wanted these to fit a little bit looser and baggier they still have that tailored look so they have the pleats in the front they have pockets on each side the back of them have i feel like these are like regular trouser pockets and then they are not cropped at all but they fit me like right at the bottom of my ankle so this is what just the style overall of them looks i love the pleating detail they have a little bit of wrinkle in them because i wore them the other day but they're so 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 pretty and i only have what well i have two pairs one of them i have to get the zipper fix and they're like a khaki color which is great so now i have like 
I have a black already and I wear it to death. Black, I have a khaki and now I have a brown. So I feel like that's all I need. Like I have every color that I need unless I wanted to add like a fun color to it, which I do have like pink trousers. I have all different color trousers, but for like the core colors, got these. I absolutely love them. The quality, like I said, is incredible. I Quality for this brand does not, it's not a question at all because I already owned two pieces before so I knew the quality was gonna be good. They definitely fit me exactly how I prefer to. I wouldn't have sized down just cause that's not the fit that I like but I feel like her stuff is very true to size. I got the blazer dress in a size small. I got the jacket, like the coat that I have in a size medium. Cause again, I like oversized pieces. And then this I got in a medium as well. So these are stunning, stunning, stunning. I have already worn them and I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these forever okay so just to show you guys how the trousers look on just have them on with a white t-shirt that you guys will hear about in a second and i think they fit amazing lengthwise i love the length because with a heel which i should have shown you guys like this is the perfect the perfect length for a heel like i think it looks so good the tailoring of it is perfect i love the pleats there's a little bit of wrinkles right here just because i wore them the other day and i sat and stood but i love them i think they look so so nice even if i wore them with like a sneaker still super cute but i love the rise of them love the pockets love the pleats like i said and i feel like these will go perfect with a tee just like this for something casual you can wear them with sneakers you could wear them with sandals you could wear them as a full suit like with the blazer which i'll show you guys in a second but I love these. I think they fit me perfectly. And um, like I mentioned, these are a medium. Along with the trousers, I got the matching blazer. So this is what the blazer looks like here. And another interesting fact that I noticed when I was cleaning out my closet, I have blazers. I love blazers, oversized blazers specifically. I don't like fitted blazers. Um, I'm going through all my blazers and I have not one black or brown blazer. I have checkered, I have lime green, I have gray. I have, I have a corduroy blazer, but I don't have like a black, plain black blazer or a plain brown blazer. So that I think was what made me want to get the set. They are sold individually, but this is what it looks like here. It has these shoulder pads, not over exaggerated either. It's like a regular shoulder pad. You can see this is what the hang tag here looks like. It's a BOA and then on the back it says everything. It's a boyfriend blazer. So in this I got a size small because because it said boyfriend, I knew it was going to be oversized. So I feel like just reading full descriptions, I feel like a lot of people will order things incorrectly because they don't read the full description. I like dissect everything when I'm ordering things online because ordering things online is tricky and from so far away, like I w this isn't something that I would be returning. It's all the way in the UK, like no. So yeah, just fully read all the descriptions. When I saw blazer and I saw boyfriend next to it, I already knew it was going to be a big fit. So I didn't need to size up to a medium. But this is what it looks like in the front. It has the lapels, beautiful. It has the buttons along the sleeves, which I also think is super, super pretty. It's lined with just a regular brown, like a chocolatey brown. And it's just like a regular lining. It's not suede, it's not anything like that. Um, and it fits really, really nicely. It's a, an oversized fit, like I said, which is my personal preference. Love it with jeans. I would wear this with like a cream turtleneck or like a mock neck some jeans and some boots and it would be perfect and if i want to wear these together if i have something really exciting or something that i need to be more business formal i guess this is like the perfect little set with either like a white cami if i want to ca casualize it i could do a white tee super super pretty and i i love them now this is what the blazer looks like so all in all this is what the entire little suit looks like and I'm obsessed. This is very much my style in the sense that it is oversized. Still just have the t-shirt on underneath, but love, love, love the fit of the blazer. With a pair of jeans, I feel like it'll look perfect, but like if I was going to like do something and I needed to like, I, I mean business, this is the suit. Like this is what I would wear. It's perfect even with just a t-shirt. I think it looks so cute. Like I could wear this with denim shorts, blazer, tee or i could wear it with a pair of denim or you know anything it's nice and long in the back as well which i personally like i love the length on the arms i'm obsessed and again i got a small in this and it fits perfectly i wouldn't recommend sizing up in this one 
I think getting your true size is gonna be your best bet. Next from BOA are these leather trousers. And I actually, I own leather leggings, but I don't have black leather pants, like an actual leather pant. We brought some to BNC like a while back, but I don't, I don't think I kept any because I, I don't have any. So I have a pair of leather leggings and in the fall and winter, I wear them all the time. Um, just because I live in Florida, it doesn't get super cold here. So a thin leather legging is fine for me. Um, if I live somewhere super cold, I wouldn't be able to wear them in the winter that's for sure but i didn't have just like a black leather trouser so i'm really really glad i picked these up such a good alternative to either a legging or a jean if you want to dress something up you can literally wear the exact same thing but change the bottoms from a jean to a leather pant or a trouser to a leather pant and it changes the look completely so these are the leather mon m-o-n i don't know what that means i have to look at the thing but the leather trousers, I haven't tried these on, so my try-on will be the first time. I got these in a medium as well, because I already knew. If it's something that's leather, it's full leather. But if it's something that is a leather, it's usually going to be super tight. It's meant to look like tight on your legs and tight along the body, so I didn't want them to suffocate me. Just It's just not my preference, but they look really, really good. They feel so nice. I haven't tried them on, like I said, so the inside feels good as well. It doesn't feel like it's super hot. It looks like a really soft fleece like a really really light fleece but they look like jeans just leather so they have pockets and they are working pockets they're not just like for the look and then the back has pockets as well they are a I feel like a pretty straight leg which we will see once i try them on um, but this is what the leg looks like here they're not super skinny they just look like a, a true straight fit so i'm really really excited to add these to my wardrobe i love playing with textures especially in the fall i feel like you could wear all black and wear different textures and everything looks completely different like you could do leather pants with like a chunky knit and snake print or something and it just looks really cool because it might be the same color but all the textures are completely different so we will see how these fit and I will leave these links down below. I got them, I think I said I got them in a medium, but if I didn't, I got them in a medium. You guys, the leather pants, I was scared, I'm not gonna lie. But, I, I don't know why that's like flopping like that. There we go. I am obsessed. They fit like a freaking glove, are you, do you, I, I'm, hold on. I need to open my blinds a little bit. I live like on a main road now, so anybody can see me from like the outside. Do I cannot. These fit, and I would wear them just like this too. Plain tee, a pair of nude pumps. I hope you guys can see them like really well. They look so I just had tacos and chips and salsa so please don't I mean whatever they fit incredibly like there's a nice amount of stretch in there I don't feel like they're too tight if I would have gotten a small I would they wouldn't have fit so I'm really glad I got the medium but this is like a full-on like me outfit right here like it's feminine but a little masculine with the oversized tee I am ob Sessed. So everything from BOA, 10 out of 10. It's so good. Okay, I need a water break. Next up, we're gonna talk about some bodysuits that I bought. And I've talked about them, this brand specifically, many times on my channel in hauls. I tag them all the time on my Instagram. And I have one, two, I think I have like six or seven of their bodysuits. They are I hate saying they're on the pricier side because I feel like cost of something is extremely subjective extremely subjective to the person. Somebody might think $20 for a shirt is a lot where somebody might think that $200 for a shirt is a lot. So I don't like automatically just putting that label like that opinion on there, but their bodysuits are the best quality body bodysuits that I've tried in my opinion until hours release just to be honest. But I have mainly fallen for their designs not so much the like it's like the styles that they come out with that i really really like so i picked up three recently that i got while i was going through my closet and kind of getting rid of stuff and noticing what i didn't have and one thing that i don't have are just a plain white slouchy kind of oversized t-shirt so 
I picked this one up here. I don't remember what the name of this one is. Um, let me check real quick. The Walker. So the marketing that she did for this and just like her idea and the concept was so good. Her brand is called Click and it's from a influencer as well called, her name is Lily Adele. She's from LA, whatever. She's super cool, has super, super cool style. And she created this brand Click and it's, basically like your your girl gang like your girls that have your back but it's all different clothing items she does bodysuits and dresses so she names each bodysuit after one of her friends in her clique then she came out which i thought this was genius she came out with a collection called borrowed from the boys all of the collection was like it looked like a shirt that you got from your husband or boyfriends or any boy from their closet and she named all of the styles after either her cliques friends husbands whatever so walker is one of the girl's sons so this is what the style is it's called the walker and it's just your standard white crew neck t-shirt but it is a bodysuit so i love that because you don't have to keep tucking it in with like things like this that you have to like keep tucked in for it to look good it's annoying because they tuck out like they untuck once you sit down so it is a class bodysuit and it's just your standard white plain crisp i love it i've already worn it like three times and i just love the fit of it i love the style and like i said i like more of a masculine fit in a lot of my clothing so i knew the bar from the boys collection i was like i'm gonna love it because it's all just slouchy oversized comfy pieces that you can wear more femininely so it's like i can wear this with the white trousers i can wear this with the leather trousers with a pair of jeans i've worn this with jeans so far and i just i loved it it's super comfortable it clips on the bottom but very very comfortable very easy to wear i got a size small because again these are meant to be oversized so now we can talk about the t-shirt this is what it looks like on obviously you've seen it paired with a couple of things already but I'm obsessed. I love the fit of it. I love that it perfectly stays tucked in like this and will not untuck. The fit for me is absolutely perfect. I actually don't even have on a bra. I have on nipple covers, my favorite nipple covers that I'll link down below. It is, I probably wear a bra like through two to three times a month. I don't, I don't wear bras. I just, they're annoying, but I'm obsessed. Like I love the shirt. It's very comfortable, a really nice, soft, breathable cotton. It's so good. Like, I definitely would get this in every single color. Um, I'm not going to right now, but if I wanted to keep adding these to my wardrobe, I would 100% get every single color. They are so good. So I loved this one so much that I got this one here. The same exact style. It's the Walker, but she came out with like a summer collection and it's all like bright, fun colors. And you guys know I love color and I love like peaches, corals. I love colors like that. So once I saw how much I love this one, I got the Walker in, I don't remember what this color is, papaya, I think, and I'm obsessed. It looks good, again, with jeans, with trousers, with literally anything, and it's that same very slouchy type of fit, but in a bodysuit form. Next up, we have the papaya, peachy, whatever color. It looks really vibrant on the viewfinder, so hopefully it's not showing that bright because it's like a true peach sort of color, but... Same exact t-shirt, so it's the same fit. I just have it tucked into some jeans that you guys are going to see in just a second. But I honestly love it. Like, I really, really want to get it in gray and black, I think. And they also have it in, like, a sleeveless, like, a muscle tee version, which you guys know I love. You guys know I love a muscle tee. But I'm obsessed. Same size, same exact fit. It is the exact same shirt, just in a different color. And I love it. I've worn this one, I think, already twice. They're just amazing. They're so good. They're such clean basics. Very, very easy to wear, easy to style with literally everything. You can layer them. You can do so much with them. So those are the two of that style, the Walker. And then I picked up, I don't know what this one's called. Then I picked up this one. And this is, I don't know if you can see on camera because my light is very bright. But this one I think was called Heather. Let me look. This is the Paul. So this is actually the Walker's son or the Walker's father. But I just, I noticed when I was going through my closet that I didn't have any plain crew neck long sleeves. Like I have turtlenecks, I have mock necks, I have Henleys. I have so many different long sleeves, but none of just like the plain, simple, crew, slouchy fit. I haven't tried this one on yet, but the fabric is so soft. Like it is, what is it? rayon and spandex it's just so 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 soft and i love the color i like that it's like a really muted gray but it's kind of speckled got a size small in this again 
they're oversized so i would say stick to your regular size because it's going to be oversized anyway and it's a thong bottom snap at the bottom like all the other ones this is what the back looks like still has the tag on it because i haven't worn it because it's too freaking hot but love these bodysuits definitely recommend i'd say even just get one like get one of like their basic tank bodysuits or long sleeves they have so many different styles and really pretty like i think they did like a date night collection and those were so fire like so good but these are the three bodysuits that i got all right now first time trying this one on and immediately the fabric is so soft like this is probably one of the softest clothing items i've ever owned the color is perfect it's like this perfect heather gray so good i love that the sleeves are long it's very stretchy and airy so this is going to be perfect for like fall florida like florida and fall florida for fall because it doesn't get super cold but i am obsessed and it just looks so good it looks so classic with just like jeans truly i am just obsessed this company just makes such yummy styles of bodysuits i i truly truly love them and in my opinion they are so worth the money because the comfort and the fact like you can feel the money in it if that makes sense so i am so happy with this one i would definitely buy another one i don't necessarily need one but if i was gonna buy more i would totally get more of this style like this is i don't even know if you can see through the lens how soft this is it is just amazing now for the last thing of this haul i got a pair of jeans and like i said i love denim denim is one of like my one true loves i worked for a denim company for a very long time so i i love jeans love denim denim in a top denim in a button-up denim in a t-shirt denim in a tank top denim in a blouse love it it is my comfort it is my go-to i feel my best in jeans i know people a lot of people hate jeans i feel my absolute number one best in a nice raw high-waisted pair of jeans so i went on abercrombie i have a couple abercrombie jeans but through my clear out i have gotten rid of so many jeans i think i have like maybe 10 pairs of jeans total and they're all very like specific to things some are cropped some are i have a black pair i have a white pair i have like one specific to boots so i just wanted a plain blue pair no rips no nothing just plain straight leg jean and these are the abercrombie 90s straight ultra high rise i got these in a size 29 because i wanted them a little bit looser i didn't want i already have so many jeans that are my true size which are size 28 i wanted something a little bit more relaxed a little bit more casual a little bit more loose and just like just easy to wear and not like oh i have to make sure i suck it in or whatever like i just wanted something a little bit more comfy and these are definitely a little big on me in the waist they definitely are because i am a true 28 slash 6 so these are in 29 slash 8 so they are a size up but i don't mind it at all if anything i do have those buttons like these little buttons you can get on Amazon. I highly recommend them. I'll leave them linked down below. That if you have a pair of jeans that fit you a little bit big in the waist, you pop these and then you can tighten the waist of them. One of my friends put me onto these and I, they have changed my life. If you don't want to go get them tailored. So these jeans fit me incredible aside from the fact that the waist is a little bit big. But I did that on purpose. I love the length of them because they go so well with heels. I personally like denim with heels more than anything. Um, I think heels just look make everything look better these are a really good length for a boot as well like if you're wearing a booty and you want a pair of jeans like a pair of jeans that hit you right there i love them i love the wash of them as well they're just like a regular mid-wash blue they're high rise the curve love line is like such a good line if you have if you're bigger on the bottom and have a smaller waist which i know is like 90 percent of women so yeah i love these again with i've worn them i don't even know how many times now so many times with everything tank tops bodysuits t-shirts button-ups with everything now lastly the jeans these are the abercrombie 90s straight jeans i think they are they're a little bit big in my waist i would definitely use the um i don't know why i just did that hold on i gotta fix them i would definitely use the um little piece that extends the waist because i'm not sure if you can tell but they are pretty loose on me but i don't mind because of this part i really really like the leg on them i'm not sure if you guys can tell but with heels they are the perfect cut like the perfect just 
straight all the way down and I love that there's no there's nothing on them it's just a plain leg and again the way that they look with heels like I'm sorry are you kidding are you kidding they look so good they're just a little bit big but I did get them a size up from my regular size so um, I did do that on purpose it's not like the jeans run big or anything they definitely run true to size but all in all I love everything like so so good and comfy and just such good quality pieces right, so that is everything that i wanted to show you guys i hope you enjoyed i know it wasn't a ton of clothes but i at least wanted to be able to talk through everything give a little bit of detail of why i got it um why i wanted it sizing really talk about fit and also include try on so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video